We have located Sextasy, and he has arrived on the setup, and they are playing a Fox Tito, as I predicted. Should be interesting. Uh, we have had some good Fox Tito matches over the years. These Melee versus 64 players. I don't know if anyone remembers uh, QQU versus Kiro. That was a very entertaining Fox Tito set that happened at Smash Gun a few years ago. See if uh, Sexy C is able to keep Spark at bay here. They have swapped uh, seats, but it looks like yeah, Spark is port one still. So Spark able to take the first stock against Sex there. Oh, and there is Sexy C giving Spark the down tilt edge guard tutorial. If we weren't sure. Before we know now because Spark has not used the down tilt to edge guard in his life. And uh, I think Sextasy is the kind of player who will just like go for a big combo instead of edge guarding. Not sure how much he does that in tournament, but looks like he's content to throw Spark off the stage in this situation. Okay. to see showing off his tech skill with these fast shines. And even though Spark took the first stock, he might not take any more. Until there, turn around. Sexy getting the tech chase. Throwing Spark off the stage. Goes for his crazy edge cancel setup. <laughs> That's the sexy special right there. Uh, I don't think anyone else goes for that. Taking the first game. He did not get what he wanted because he was a little late, but it still turned into a trade and worked out for him. All right, going into game two. Hipster taught him that. I believe that. Laser game coming out from both boxes here. He's gonna close distance first. Sexacy just managing to get out of that situation with the jabs, just boxing through. Just winning the scrap. Yeah, I always believe him, sir. He's an honest man. Shine from Spark getting out far enough. Comfortable with that spacing. But look at Sex to see with the punish game. It's just a different level of experience when you have the ability to string together that many hits, even into like a zero to death. All you need was that one last hit. Yeah, Fox's aerials are very weak. Good combo moves. I think that was the idea. Make them weak so that they link together. But I mean, Nair could just be good instead of bad. Because it's not even like a good combo move. Uh, it does everything that forwarder and backer do, but a little worse. Because it's longer and smaller. Stocks to one. Spark finding the jab into grab. Sexy just buffering the shield and great shine. Calling out the double jump movement. It's a Fox Ditto, so anything can happen. But I have a feeling that Sexy C is okay here. Just needs that one big opening. Look 
the lasers going back and forth. Sexy trying to find an up air once a combo starter. There we go, that's something. A couple more up tilts. So many up tilts. Maybe too many up tilts. And expected the tech in there. Spark going to the ledge. Not giving that to him. Getting something for himself, getting the grab. That's all you need in the shine again. Calling on that double jump movement. Spark only needs one more of those. He's still in this set. Sexy trying to finish it. Jab into grab, not coming through. He's going for the hipster up again, and he misses! Oh my god! <laughs> Sextasy throwing the game away. Maybe wants to play Smash a little bit longer. I can't believe it. <laughs> Just trying to style. That's the kind of player he is. Oh my gosh. Honestly, like, I would expect him to go for that again in the same situation in Game 3 as well. Like, he will just throw caution in the wind, I'm sure of it. Okay, Spark. Maybe taking the first stock here. Ooh, didn't have the confidence to go for that shine. Uh, definitely could have gone. He had the right idea, and then just kind of, like, decided to back off. Throw in to lose is the foul of sexy special AI. Alright, sexy finally taking the first stock. Came off the stage again. Okay, up four to two. Hasn't really done any big combos in this, uh, this game. So far. I mean, it's kind of. In the Fox Ditto, it can be kind of hard because Fox is so small while you're hitting him. And, like, it's definitely easier to just throw him up and hit him. The Nair coming out from Spark just goes to show you that basically anything will work when you're dealing with a Fox recovering from low. Right? That's enough to do it, the weak back air. Fox is such a fast faller. Just that amount of stun you take from that back air is going to put you so low down its front. Just going for the grab on the top platform. Sexy gets him off again. He doesn't want him to die because he wants to go for his stupid up again, dude. Oh, no, he's doing the hamster kicks. Oh my god, we're going to be here for five minutes, guys. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> this sucks. Oh my god, you can just keep going. For those of you who don't know, Fox's lowest angle forward tilt has fixed a knockback. It's like the only forward tilt that's like that, where the angle changes the way it behaves. And he's going for the dumb up B and he misses again, you moron. Please, just close the set up. Kill your opponent. That's what the game is here for. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. <laughs> if, he, if he loses this, I'm just leaving. <laughs> Go beat him up. Please, forward throw. My guy. Oh my god. And he's going for another edge cancel. That one's a little easier to set up. You just stand in the middle of the stage and up you towards the ledge. Honestly, like at this point, even if he hits some edge cancel into a move, it's not even going to be cool. It's just, it's not messing around for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's a laser edge card. He's just not content winning in a, in a normal human way. It has to be some dumb shit, man. I like the laser, though, yeah. That's always fun. You just, like, hit him with the weakest move and he just falls down a bit. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> What are you 